Hey, how you doing? I'm Alan Friedman. Uh, some of you know me, so most of you don't know me, but some of you who do know me know me as a CPA with a firm called Friedman Cannonberg & Company. We're in the uh, uh, Hartford, Connecticut area, and um, uh, we have a CPA firm in the music industry. I'm very fortunate to have a lot of great friends who are musicians. I'm a guitar player myself, as evidenced by my little home studio, and um, I've done a couple records. Uh, but what's really cool after having done a couple records with all these friends of mine, some great singers like um, Bobby Kimball from Toto, Bernard Fowler from the Rolling Stones, uh, my dear friend Robbie LeBlanc from a band called Blank Faces, a lot of great singers, same thing with drummers, my good friend Jonathan Mover, um, just a whole variety of uh, buds of mine, people that I grew up with, some very talented friends like Tony Jones is a great bass player, Tony Genevieve, another drummer, my good friends um, who are keyboard players like Vince DiCola and Jeff Batter, my friend Mark Zampino. Very, very fortunate to have some great musician friends who I've played with. And it would have been a dream of mine to, instead of doing like a solo thing, which I've been doing for four last 15 years recording, I wanted to put a band together and uh, I wanted to basically take you know, a great drummer, a great keyboard player, a great singer, great bass player, and a mediocre guitar player, that would be me, kind of the weak link in the band, but, uh, and just do a great rock record of just wonderful tunes, things that sort of would last over time, and, or at least things that, you know, uh, emulated the music that I grew up listening to. I grew up on the Beatles, Stones, Hendrix, Jeff Beck, Zeppelin, The Who, into the 70s, listen to Kansas, and uh, Bad Company, and uh, started listening to a lot of fusion stuff, Ma Vishnu Orchestra, Return of Forever, and uh, right into funk, Sly and Family Stone, Stevie Wonder, Earth, Wind & Fire, Ohio Players, even into 80s rock with Van Halen, Night Ranger, Survivor, and just, just some terrific music. So I wanted to put together a band uh, I was fortunate enough to get uh, a couple really great friends of mine to coordinate their schedules and meet me out at a studio out in L.A. called The Steakhouse, also a client of ours, a very dear friend of mine and uh, my total guitar hero, my number one guy uh, who I admire and, and uh, strive to play about a tenth of as good as he does, uh, Steve Lukita is my guy and uh, so I uh, it's a studio that he records at a lot, and they're a client of mine called The Steakhouse. <clears throat> so um, I got The Steakhouse to give me uh, their studio for a week, and I was able to coordinate uh, my good friend Robbie LeBlanc, just a phenomenal, phenomenal singer, um, uh, who has sung on a bunch of tunes on my first two records. Um, truly one of the best singers I know, best rock singers. The guy can sing anything, he's just a terrific rock singer. And uh, just like one of my all-time favorite buds uh, and just amazing drummers, Jonathan Mover, who uh, played with Steve Vai, Joe Satriani, and Aretha Franklin, and Alice Cooper, and GTR, you name it. And he not only has a studio of his own called Skyline Studios in New York, but also uh, is the editor of Drumhead Magazine, just a wonderful uh, magazine dedicated to the art and education of drumming. Uh, and then we got together with another dear friend of mine, Vince DiCola, uh, who did the Rocky IV soundtrack. He did uh, Transformers and Gran Turismo, and he has a band that he had done a record called Thread, just an amazing piece of rock music, you know, uh, I guess progressive rock. So I was able to coordinate uh, Jonathan and Robbie and Vince's time uh, and, and have them meet me at the Steakhouse studio and we did that in late August and basically wrote a record in three days. Uh, at the end we were talking about you know which bass player should we get uh, to play on this record and almost unanimously because Jonathan and I and Robbie uh, all knew um, uh, Doug Wimbush who's just one of my dearest friends. He's from Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, most of you will know him as the bass player for Living Color, but he's played with everybody, Mick Jagger, Jeff Beck, um, he, he actually was very involved in the uh, the rap 
and funk movement that, that uh, came about in American music and uh, so he's just, he's just an all around tremendous great bass player and we're going to see where this thing goes so this band is called Cannonballs and it's now, uh, we found our bass player, Doug Wimbish. Um, that's pretty much it. Hope you uh, enjoy the music to come from Cannonballs and here's just a little snippet of, uh, of uh, A Day with Doug. <laughs>